Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we are going to take a look at classes and other stuff. We can um, take a look at file I have prepared for this lecture. Uh, introduction to classes and other stuff. Pretty much it. So uh, let me get going and copy uh, in the old make file over to this and then we're going to get started with basic classes and inheritance. That's the subject of this lecture, inheritance and classes. Now we'll, we have our make file and um, Let's start with the let's start with the main Datavala file and have a look at uh, classes and all of that. In this example, we are going to use two classes. One is named foo and one is named bar. So, um, now we have to create a constructor for each of these classes, and I will talk about the constructors in when I have written them, and um, yeah. classes that I uh, that I talk, talked about earlier and um, the first class is called foo and it has a private uh, private integer or that is named i and then we have the constructor that takes an integer i and, ass and assigns it to the private 
um, variable or private integer and foo also has an a to int um, function or method and it returns i then we have the bar um, bar has a, a private integer called x and ta and its default constructor takes a integer of an integer and assigns it to x uh, its private x and then we got a second constructor called uh, uh, foo from no, f uh, bar dot from foo and it takes a foo class of object of foo and assigns it and takes the two int from here and uh, yeah that's about it for those I'm going to add a few function a, a, a one more function to bar and then we will uh, start writing the main function Here's the here's the base of the function we're going to use, and I'm going to assign a few objects, um, and uh, then we're going to see what we can do with these constructors and all that. Now we have the first uh, assignments or the first variables that we're going to use. One is uh, one foo object and uh, two bar objects. And as you can see, the bar object uh, uses a different constructor in the second assignment. And uh, let's see what this looks like when we do a print on them and all of that. So let me do that.
the that's the main function done and now let's do a make on this and uh, see what happens and we it went through so make run and as you can see we it works so in Vala you as you have to if you want to have multiple constructors for an object you have to um have to do the dot operator so it's uh, instead of doing like in other like languages overriding uh, which you cannot do in Vala it is uh, illegal to do that in Vala uh, due to its uh, nature so you have to create different constructors for different uh, circumstances so in this case I had a uh, the object or class bar has a uh, there's a constructor called bar dot from foo and takes a foo object. So, as you would guess, it actually assigns the value of the foo object here to itself, and that's why we got the value we got. If we look at that again, as you can see here, my object, uh, m my foo is 12, my bar is 0, and my bar 12 is. Uh, my bar 2 is also 12 and uh, now we're going to uh, look at inheritance but let's break first so let's uh, get a going with uh, let's get going with the inheritance and uh, this is going to be fun so let's remove what you have done up to now, or no, I don't have to do that. I can just comment out, and then we will take a look at uh, inheritance. Okay. So now I have commented out uh, all the code, so now we shall take a look at uh, inheritance. So let me start here with a class, class, and we're going to call it foo, and then we're going to call another class bard, so let's do that.